Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video for you on five um, quick and easy hairstyles. I've seen a lot of people doing these videos and um, yeah, I really, really liked them so I said I'd do one myself. Um, yeah, so basically I suppose we're just going to get right into it but before we do, you're going to just need a hairbrush, a comb but you don't really need it, it's personal preference, whatever. Um, a bobbin of any sort and some clips so I suppose we get right into it hi guys so you're going to need your comb and this is personal but I like to back comb my hair just to give my hair a bit of body you can back comb it as much as you want um, I just really like doing it just to give my hair some body as I said again this is all personal preference so Feel free to mess with your hair and do everything you want to do with it. Yeah, and then I just like to brush it out a little bit so it doesn't look so messy. And I want to apologise for the lighting and stuff. I'm, it's pretty late at night. So <laughs> Then you're just going to grab it and basically you're just going to tie it up into a high ponytail. I usually flip my head over but at the moment I can't because I'm sitting on my chair. So you're just going to grab it all up into as high as a ponytail as you can and as you're doing this just try and push your hair a bit forward just so it gives it a bit of lift as you can see I'm pushing it a bit forward and then you're going to want to grab a bobbin and you're going to tie your hair up now this is kind of my look on a messy bun but because my hair is so short when I pull it out like that it looks doesn't look like a bun but I like that look very much and then basically what I do is I just pull out bits of my hair just to give my hair body and pull out my bangs or my little bits as people call them. Or you could just leave it into a nice high ponytail. I think it really looks well with it as well. As with the body and stuff it really really looks nice. So on to the next look, you're going to take your brush and brush your hair right out, get no knots. And this look we're going just for a simple plait, your everyday side plait. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to grab your hair and section it off into three pieces. And you're going to wrap it around to make a plait. It takes me quite a while to do a plait because like I f flip my hands every kind of way so it takes me a few minutes so bear with me guys. And then you want to get your bobbin and you want to tie it to secure it at the end so your plait doesn't fall out, obviously. And I also have these little bits sticking on my plait because I have such short layers. So if you want to go ahead and just tuck them in, if you get them as well, you can. And then if you've got bits hanging out at the back like I do, I just like to clip them back with a bobby pin or a clip is what I call it. High five for the sticky bones in my back. <laughs> Had to put that in there. And then just pull out any pieces you think you want to have out and makes your hair look nicer, as you would say. And fix any bits you want to fix. So you want to grab your brush again and you want to brush your hair out. And basically this look is kind of a quiff, but it's a side quiff, if you all know what a quiff is. And you're just going to twist your hair and push it up to form like a big lump on your head. And you're going to secure it with two uh, clips or slides. Now if you've got naturally stray hair or even curly hair, mine's quite flicky at the moment. You could leave that down like that. I, I wear my hair like that often. But... 
you could also grab a bobbin and just tie it up in a normal ponytail. I think it really, really looks nice as well. I wear my hair like that a few times if I'm just not in the mood to really do anything with it. And these are looks that I wear if I don't not in the mood to really go all out and even straighten it, to be honest. So it's just your average ponytail. That's what it looks like from the back and from the side. And I just really like it. Um, you can pull down your side bangs if you want. So you're going to take your brush again and you're going to brush your hair so you have no knots. You're going to grab your bobbin. And basically this is just your average side ponytail. I really, really like this look. It's just so simple. It takes two seconds to do. And I think it would look even nicer if you had extensions or long hair. Where mine's quite short. But it still works for me, I think. And then just you want to fix your hair to whatever way you want to. And then any bits you kind of have hanging out that you don't want, then you can go ahead and clip them back. And I just really like this look. I think it's just really simple and it's just really nice and just cute, I think. So grabbing your brush again, you're going to brush your hair out. Get no knots. And this look again is a quiff because it's so easy. I went for these looks. These are just so simple. And you want to grab your hair, you want to twist it around, and you're going to push it up like you did before in the other video or in the other section of the video. And you're going to clip it. And again, I think this look looks really nice if you've got naturally stray hair or curly hair. And you can even straighten your hair if, if you're quick at doing it and put it up like this. It's nice. But if you didn't want to bother doing that and just wanted to clip it up, then go ahead and you can grab a bobbin and you can tie it up in a normal ponytail. Again, it's something like the other look I did, but it's in the front, so it's kind of a bit different. And I like this look. I used to wear it a lot. I don't like it too much anymore because I hate my ears because they like stick out. So, <laughs> And I like to cover my ears with hair so that's why I'm pulling my little bangs out and basically that's just what it looks like from the back just your plain average hair so thank you so much for watching guys and I will talk to you again